Long ago, a poor farmer and his wife owned one goose that laid one egg each day. They would have starved if not for that goose. One morning, when the farmer collected the egg, he was surprised to find a glittery egg of pure gold. At first, he was disappointed. How could they live on this egg? They needed food. His wife pointed out that the goose had given them a wonderful gift, because now they could buy a cow and a sheep. They would have milk and cheese to eat and wool to make clothing. We will never be poor again with a sheep and a cow, she explained. We will never be poor again, the farmer said, because we have a goose that lays golden eggs. In the village, the farmer traded the egg for a basket of food and silk clothing, while his wife shook her head in disappointment. The next morning, the farmer dreamed of what he would buy with the next golden egg. Perhaps a fine horse, he thought for he was certain he would look quite dashing, riding a mighty steed. But the nest contained only one ordinary egg that morning. Where is my golden egg? he bellowed. The farmer's words terrified the goose. She darted from her nest, flew into the sky, and was never seen again. Soon the basket of food was empty, and the silk clothing was tattered. With the goose gone, the farmer and his wife were poorer than they had ever been. Gold Rush The year was 1848. James Marshall was building a sawmill near the American River in what is now California. Marshall looked down at the water and spotted something glittery. He reached in and retrieved several shiny rocks. He wondered if the rocks were fool's gold. Those worthless rocks looked like gold and had fooled many. After a closer look, Marshall knew that this was the real thing. He took the gold to his employer, John Sutter. The two men became partners. They tried to keep the discovery a secret, but news that gold had been found at Sutter's mill spread and was all anyone talked about. By 1849, people poured into the area. Everyone hoped to strike it rich. The gold rush had begun. Between 1849 and 1858, hundreds of thousands of people rushed to California. The risks were great for these prospectors. Often the miners had given up all they owned for a chance at finding gold. In some cases, the risk was worth it. Some people found gold and became rich, but many others did not. A few found other ways to make money. They provided goods and services to the crowds of miners flooding the camps. Neither James Marshall nor John Sutter ever became wealthy. The men had no legal claim to the land where they found gold. As time passed, fewer prospectors found gold. People began leaving the camps to go home. Others chose to stay. Many former mining camps are now the towns and cities in California.